to Aries. Welcome. Uh, let's get into this right away. We have the two of cups showing up for you, followed by the page of swords, the four of cups, and the eight of wands. And you may be wondering, do you really want a relationship right now? Do you want that type of connection? Uh, it's like all the other ones seem to go not that great, but do I really want, do I really want this? It's, this connection is the Two of Cups. It's actually a substantial connection where somebody mirrors you. You're in the wait and see mode, but for some reason you don't have a lot of hope. And even though things are moving along quickly uh, and very well. When we look to the desire, we see the Temperance card come out. Followed by the Fool, the Seven of Swords, and the Hangman. You're wanting things to change where it's like that brand new start where, with somebody that... It's almost like, could I start over? Could this shift and start over in a way that's actually beneficial for both? For others of you... This change that's happening might be really unexpected um, because it's just life maybe has seemed very, very unfair and you're, you're waiting for that sort of change. Um, and you need to look at it a little differently. When we look to the outcome in the near future, we see the magician. It's followed by the nine of wands, the king of pentacles and the death card. The words I hear is you're bringing this hardship on yourself. Things are actually going pretty good with the King of Pentacles here. And again, we see change, significant change, with the Death card. So we've had Temperance, which talks about change. We've also had Death that talks about change. Death doesn't mean death, of course. And this is something that you're actually manifesting, these changes. Um, so the trials that you're going through to some degree. When we see what's working for you, we see the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Six of Pentacles. So, Financially, things are fairly solid. With the Two of Swords, you still may have some types of fears around things, um, especially because it may be relatively new for you with the High Priestess here. And then when we see the Six of Pentacles, is it going to be that give and take that you were hoping for? We see the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords show up. This is what you need to be aware of. It's clarified by the devil, the star, and the eight of cups. So, even though you're very outgoing, you may be withdrawn at this particular point. Um, it just because the way things are going, it seems like they've always gone that way. Uh, you could be involved with Capricorn. But there are these hopes and dreams that you're kind of walking away from. And I almost get that it's for a relationship where you have all these hopes and dreams. And then when you get in the relationship, those sort of go by the wayside. I'm going to pull three more cards or four more cards for you. And we see the Seven of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and Judgment. There may be a lot of confusion. There may be a lot of confusion or opportunity, which can lend itself to confusion, based on the future that you see for yourself. This future requires 
some type of learning. Um, understanding, development, those types of things with the page pentacles here to really be able to embrace it. Uh, and this is coming around the second time for you. It may look slightly different, but the lesson can still be the same. So, Aries, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.